Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Yancey takes it at the 16, and he's hammered down. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. made at the 37. Brink gets three yards on the carry. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Here he goes. And they make the stop around the 50-yard line. I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching the football, but man, oh man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of the job. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From the 33-yard line, first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Brink gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. It's a good play call. A quick, safe pass to a sure-handed receiver. That keeps the drive alive. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Him hard at the 24-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. And this play is number eight on the drive. I got number 18. I got you, 18. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. And they get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. This will make it a field goal game. Kicks away, and it's good! set to kick this one away. The Tigers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Got it. And he goes 
half quickly. They come out in a five-wide set. And down he goes at the 37-yard line. Change of quarterback, Kirby. You gotta wonder what that's gonna do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've gotta be ready to trust this guy. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. He takes it in at the 14. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Just throws this one away. yard line from their own 36 yard line first down and they'll bring him down behind the line and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Brink gets about four yards on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's out of bounds at the 42. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Yeah. 
Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 18-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Yeah, there's not much room there for the ball carrier. The safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards. Well, a familiar situation for the offense is they try to convert another third down. They've converted three already. Looks left. Picked off. The 10. He scores. What a play. was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Ingram fields it at the 13. Tackle at the 32-yard line. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Gets it out to about the 47-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here, the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got... Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. 
hit out of bounds at the 38. It's up. Looks long enough. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the 47-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He scrambled. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Taken down at the 47. And he throws it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. He gets rid of this one. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Out of bounds, right around the 40. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It has the distance. And it hits the upright. No good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle around the 47-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. And he's tackled after positive yardage. With third down and medium, you'd think the defense would have a chance here to get really aggressive and be able to stop the offense. I don't know, maybe they were anticipating a pass there. But they've got to do a better job of defending the run, especially on third down. Steps out of bounds at the 44. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. He's going to try and scramble. And he dives forward. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Here's the eighth play of the series. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Right. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and goal. 
Ball on the six yard line. He gets rid of this one. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackled after a decent pickup. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. The Tigers lead it 7-6. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced. David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, game was over yeah when we when we, I was there for my four years when our team scored over 17 points we, we were undefeated so when you have a great defense first of all you have high expectations you expect to come in and shut the opponent out it and the offense on the other side you know what you got too. you don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game you don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself you just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't gonna kill you I got a dominant side of the football Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Boy, I hope the, the second half is as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in the tight one. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 37. That's a deep goal. That makes it first and ten. from their own 37-yard line. First down. Got it complete, he's out of bounds. From the 45 yard line. First down. He's tackled at the 42 yard line. yard line from the 28 yard line it's first down takes it up the middle for a nice run that's good for a game of four yards that brings him second and five He 
He might have a chance. Inside the 10. They'll bring him down at the 8. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He gets it again, and this time he's hit hard in the backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. If they can get it in here to make it a two-score game, it's third and goal. The short yardage defense here. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Yancey takes it at the 16. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Takes a hand up, but brought down before he could go anywhere. From their own 33-yard line, second down. He lets it fly. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. This is the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Larry, Larry. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. Brink gains four yards on that reception. Meade is the putter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. From the 15, he makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. it off and he's taken down at about the 25 yard line from their own 25 yard line it's second down and he's tackled at the 29 and he makes it out to about the 31 yard line Ingram awaiting the return oh excellent punt He's tackled at the 25. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. A little handoff. 
tackles him hard at the 27 yard line. That's a game of two on the way. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27 yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 10-6, Tigers. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Gains about five yards on the run. That's good for a game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike Ford. Watch the run. Watch the run. Caught open field. Brought down at about the 43 yard line. well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. From the 48-yard line, second down, they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got a man, watch out here. That's a great tackle in the 38-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes the grab and steps out right away. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. From the 25-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. And it was the junior defensive tackle that was able to step up and make that tackle. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He's taken down right around the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line, first down. He makes it out to about the 11-yard line. That's a team of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. And here's a quick throw. Touchdown! And that gives them the lead. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. 
A 13-play, 74-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. Church has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick pass. Tackle at the 30. Second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 30 yard line. Gets out to about the 31. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's tackled right away. And they push him out right around the 44-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. hit before he can go anywhere. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. That makes it second and six. And this play is number eight on the drive. Mike four, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Set, two seven. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Got hit and still completed it. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Under a minute left. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's gonna count, and this could be the one right here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Two times, two times. Nice run there. The 
Tigers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.